because initially warfarin is prothrombotic. Heparin is thrombocytopenia, even though it's thrombocytopenia, it's actually a prothrombotic state. It's not increasing the risk of bleeding, it's increasing the risk of clots. So what you'll do is you'll start them on ergotroban. So warfarin you cannot do initially, later on it can be used, but initially no. So you start them on ergotroban, and what are you going to do every day? Say your plated count is about 50,000, 50k today. Are you starting them on ergotroban? Continue to monitor. Continue to monitor plated counts. Okay, every day you'll monitor plated counts. When are you going to be happy and say, I have won? When you're above 1,000 or 100,000. What is your lower limit of normal? 150. So once you cross 150k, which is the lower limit of normal, then you can say we have succeeded. So that's the number you're looking for. Okay, you want to get to 150k. So ergotroban or some anticoagulation continued until you go above 150k. Once you go above 150k, okay, looks like plated count is good. What do we do now? Are you going to stop anticoagulation? Are you going to switch to a different type of anticoagulation? Or do you need anticoagulation at all? Depends on what the ultrasound okay, so question is if the ultrasound showed a clot versus say no clot or if somebody's got a clot, right? If somebody's got a clot, you'll treat for three months, three months of anticoagulation. So once you get above 150K, you can switch them to a DOAC like apixaban, rivaroxaban, and you can actually use warfarin also. And uh, what you will do is you'll actually bridge them. At that point, you bridge with warfarin and get your therapeutic INR of two to three, okay? But once above 150, you must Continue anticoagulation for three months if you have a clot. Okay, what if you don't have a clot? You still need to change to some anticoagulation and continue anticoagulation for at least one month. So no clot one month, have clot three months.